Hey guys, and welcome to A Quiet Praise, where we talk about faith, life, and perspective, and do not mind the way I am dressed. It is about 1030 at night, and we have no power, so stay tuned for the rest of this video to figure out what happened and what life lesson I learned. Good morning once again, Cynthia here, and this is going to be a really, really low-key video. Um, as you can see, I'm in my car. It has just been like a crazy day, two days. I honestly don't even know how I'm alive. No, I'm just kidding. Just to give you a little bit of a background, um, I'm a social worker. I work with a health insurance company for geriatric population and COVID has really, really, really affected my job. Um, I do work from home, which is a blessing, but it just seems like I have a lot more work to do. Um, I have unfortunately a lot of members that have passed away of COVID. Of complications I have people in the hospital all the time which causes me to have a lot more reporting and phone calls and different things to do so honestly this is why I'm doing this video in my car because if I go back to my home office I have so much work to do so that is that um, yesterday was a really tough day um, I started out my day of course just reporting all uh, my members and working and then um, there were some issues with my YouTube which is okay it's just been really 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 busy and please comment below and let me know if you guys can resonate with what I am saying um, I just feel like I'm not alone in this honestly I think a lot of people think oh you're working from home that's a blessing that's great you're like relaxing absolutely not um, it is a lot more work but through this all God has really shown me patience one instance yesterday uh, my internet just decided to stop it was intermittent so I had to call my internet provider I was literally on the phone almost ready to finish my transaction like for them to upgrade it and the, the phone called off I called six different times and the phone dropped every single time and instead of me like getting riled up and getting upset I prayed about it and I said Lord you're in control I'm gonna tie one more time and sure enough the person called me I was a little bit rude at first and then I apologized um, because I was just really frustrated but being patient and waiting and making that extra phone call really did show me that God is in control, even of the little things and also of the big things. Um, thank God, I know that my family is blessed. I know that he has protected us throughout all this. No one in my family has had COVID. Um, we have been staying home, but the reality is that I still need to go out and do shopping. Um, we have to go back to normal, whatever that may be with our masks. So I am very, very grateful in all of this, in my stress that God has protected me and he has chosen his blessing and his protection over me and my family. So anyways, yesterday at 9.30, the power went out. There was no storm, there was no wind, there was no rain. It was just, just came out of nowhere. I was getting ready to vacuum and that's when I said, you know what God, this is your cue for me to just relax, chill, I need to go to bed and that is what it is. Usually I don't go to bed till about 11.30, 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, either editing videos or cleaning the house or you know I cook dinner late because I'm working so much or you know I have a million and one other things to do but this I felt was God telling me you know you just gotta relax. You just need to take a break and go to sleep I guess kind of early. I ended up going to sleep at about 10.30 after I did my intro. We didn't have power but I do have an electric fan which I really advise you guys to invest in an electric fan because if you're like me I hate sleeping in the heat so I had my big electric fan next to me. Not electric, battery operated fan. So then after that I took a shower and it was by candlelight. It wasn't romantic at all. <laughs> So I took a shower and in that I started thinking about the Egyptians right before the exodus and how the last plague, one of the last plagues was the darkness. And so I imagined the whole country of Egypt, Pharaoh's house, his servants, everybody in that city surrounded in darkness. Like there was total darkness. You couldn't even see the your hand right in front of you. Thankfully at my house we do have three solar tubes that I'm probably going to be inserting a picture here or here. 
Uh, when we bought the house, we do have three solar tubes, so it wasn't as dark, but in the bathroom, let me tell you, it was like really dark. If I didn't have those lights, I probably wouldn't know where the water was going. Uh, so it's, it reminded me of that and how they were lost, like in spiritual darkness, but also in physical darkness. And so how many times are we in that darkness or are we surrounded in that darkness? But you know what? My son was scared about it. Um, and I told him he really didn't have anything to worry about. We have the solar tubes, we have candles, we're good to go. I felt peace. I I honestly felt God's peace while there was no power in my house. I felt like he protected us. He's going to take care of us. There's nothing wrong. I just felt this sense of, well, Lord, it's all in your hands. I can't do anything right now, clearly, so you need to do the rest. And I just felt this sense of calm, this sense of peace, this just tranquility, like, well, I just got to go along with it and trust that God is going to, you know, take care of us. And so... I imagine that's how the Egyptians felt in the darkness and that's also how the Israelites felt when their cities were still filled with light, where they were still able to do day-to-day -day things and they had that peace and that calm knowing that God was taking care of them. You know, that, that only comes from knowing God. When you don't know God, when you don't know Jesus, when you don't have that love, that passion, when you don't have him in your heart and you don't feel that he is real, you come into that darkness and you have turmoil and you have anxiety and you have stress and you have doubt and you have fears. But when you are in God's glory, that that light, you have this sense of calm and you have this sense of peace like I did yesterday. Although there was no light in my house and it was totally dark, I felt a sense of peace. I just felt like, you know, like it was going to be okay. And so while people out in the world may be worrying about certain things like this COVID-19, I am worried about it, but I know that God is in control. Um, and my son, my son brought that to me the other day. He reminded us, you know, we get so caught up into these things and we're like, oh, we need to wear a mask. We need to have our, our shield. We need to do this. We need to wash our hands. And, you know, we were like, make sure you do all this. And he said, okay, I'm going to do it. He was like, but isn't God taking care of us? Didn't you tell me, mom, that God is protecting us? And I had to take a step back because here we are telling our kids, telling our loved ones that God is going to protect us and he has us in the palm of his hand and he will guide us. And are we really doing it? Is that, is that really what we believe? Is that really how we truly feel? Or are we just saying and praying, God protect us, take care of us, and kind of going on about our business? See, in this time of darkness or spiritual darkness that our world is in, we need to make sure that we are living what we are telling others, what we are telling our children, especially what we are telling ourselves. It's not just, Lord is gonna protect me, I go out the door, it's gonna be good. No, it's actually believing that and holding on to those promises. Okay, because there's gonna be a lot of people that are gonna say, well, isn't she the one who said that God was protecting her and now she's freaking out? When it comes down to it is, am I believing what I am telling others and myself? And my son brought that back to my attention, saying, you know, the Lord is protecting us. He is guiding us. He is taking care of us. Do we need to take safety measures? Absolutely. But we also need to trust that God is in control. So if we live our life in fear all the time, we are not enjoying the blessings that God has for us right now. And I learned that in a devotional that I did through you version, I'm always talking about it, but a devotional that I did through you version the other day that God wants us to live in the here and now. And so all these things are falling apart. They're crumbling around us, but we are missing all the blessings and all the delights and all the joy that God has around us in our in our circumstance. So where, where I am freaking out about the future and what God has planned for me and you know these things that I want to be done in my life, I am totally bypassing all these beautiful moments that God has for me right now. And that was also another slap in the face because it was telling me that I don't need a fear. I just need to trust in God and know that he's in control. In the meantime, while I'm in this period of waiting, of uncertainty, enjoy what is around me. Enjoy the little joys that my son brings to me. Enjoy the flowers, enjoy the butterflies. Enjoy this time of rest that I have with my family during this quarantine, okay? really looking at the little things that God is blessing us with each and every single day. There's so many things that we pass by that we don't really realize or count as blessings. And God in this time is telling us to stop and take note of all those beautiful little things that he has for us. Because later on, when we are really gonna get into the end times, there's not gonna be any joy. If you haven't realized things are getting from worse to like really, really, really bad. In Spanish, we say de mal en peor, from bad to really worse. And so 
we really need to take the time to trust in God, know that He's in control, not fear, and take every day, take the opportunity every day to praise Him and to enjoy that time with our family and the little things in life. And know that the darkness is around us, but it will not envelop us. We have to trust that God is going to bring us that light. God is going to bring us love, peace, and calm through this storm. I am not perfect, and sometimes my son needs to put me in check again. And like the power went out yesterday like that, I realized that there's nothing I can do that is in my control. It's all in Him. God bless. If you haven't already, please make sure that you press the notification bell below so that you can get notified every time I upload a video. Please make sure that you comment and that you share this with other people. God bless. Take care and till the next time.